So what is a subtrust? So a subtrust is the trust that your parents' trust creates. Mr. and Mrs. Estate, they're the trustors of this trust. And after they pass away, we'll determine who the beneficiaries are, who's in charge as the trustee, and the subtrust is the conditions that are controlling. So we need to look at what are the conditions in the trust after the trust creators pass away. So that this age trust is showing that beneficiaries under the age of 30 will have their share held by the trustee, and then they get one third at age 20, half at 25, and then the balance at age 30. That's one of the most common subtrust. There's also a special needs trust. This is for beneficiaries that are on government benefits, uh, needs-based benefits. So if they receive their inheritance outright in their name, they'll be disqualified from the benefits. So for those special needs beneficiaries, we'll hold their share in trust to supplement them and not supplant or replace the public benefits. Another type of subtrust is what we call a dynasty trust. Generation skipping trust is the tax terms for all, all you tax nerds out there. Uh, dynasty trust, so what this is, this is a trust where it's designed to continue from generation to generation. So we use the word dynasty trust. It, it's commonly called dynasty trust by estate planners. Dynasty where you're creating a legacy, something that's gonna live on um, far beyond you, hopefully. Or there's also a pet trust is another type of subtrust. If they have a trust, we want to see what's inside of that trust. And what are the terms of the trust? What types of subtrust? If they don't have a trust, then we need to see what's controlling their assets.